The island has new rulers. Oh, who? The twins. We are so doomed. You remember how the last episode was kind of good comedy-wise? Yeah. In some respects. It was a little annoying, you know, with Gustav, but it kind of made up for it. Yeah. Yeah, this episode, it again, it felt lackluster, really. It had no substance. No substance, no. It, it, it's not as bad as Big Man on Burke. Oh, hell no. <laughs> if it was bad, we'd be ripping this new one. I know. Yeah, but... Yeah, it furthered nothing to the plot, really, at all. It didn't introduce anything new. No new dragons, no new plot, no new enemies. Mm -mm. No, in fact, it was just stupid shit. It was. Which is kind of okay. It is okay once in a while. But... When, okay, when our, when our streak has kind of been, like, big man on Burke, gone, Gustav, gone, and then... Reign of Fireworms, which is this current episode, it feels like, can we stop staying stagnant? Yeah. Can we move forward a bit? Can we go to a new dragons, new stuff? Yeah. And I'm kind of not saying that Gu Gon Gustav Gon didn't, like, forward anything. It introduced something new, like, there's new lenses to the dragon eye. There's new development. But Burke, uh, <laughs> Big Mountain Burke was horrifying oh god oh my god it actually might be the worst episode in uh, just in, in the entire dreamworks dragons series yeah it actually beats out Thawfest. oh fuck that takes talent yes but you know okay okay what's what's we're we're yeah. bashing this episode we haven't even discussed what it's about <laughs> okay rulers here okay uh, while Fishlegs is doing, like, a census of all the dragons on the islands, he suddenly realizes that there's a lot of fireworms that are appearing on the island. It turns out they are migrating to the island. And so they try to prepare for... The, they try to prepare the island for, you know, the firestorm that's happening, and the twins find a claim stone left by their ancestor that proclaims that, the, that this island... The island that they are that standing on is owned by their family forever and ever and ever and ever. <laughs> first question one. Why did they find this when they first move? It's a big island. I mean, that's kind of like asking why did they not find the visitor center of the old Jurassic Park in Jurassic World? That's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> that was like what? Like they've been open for how many years? Ten. And they didn't, they didn't see it until now. That kind of makes them stupid, really. <laughs> but yeah. they're back on track. Yeah. So they bring in Stoic and Gobber, which, if you kind of remember, they don't have dragons yet. Well, Stoic did have a dragon, but he had to let it go, you know, because that would kind of be it would confuse everyone who's seen the who's seen. The series and then seen the second movie and why he has a different dragon, you know, that kind of thing. But how did they get on the island? How far away are they from Burke? I don't I want I don't want to say they swam or freaking sailed. Fuck. If it was sailing It would take days, weeks. Months. The the island would be the island would be nothing but charcoal by then. The only explanation is instant teleportation. You know, Star yeah. Trek style. Yeah. Hey Dad, I need to check out this claim stone. That's a bit. I'll be there in a moment. Scotty, be me there. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's authenticated. The twins are the rulers of the island, and they just Prince John the thing, the whole oh. thing. You know, do not let the twins have power. Uh, do you think the viewers will know what I mean by Prince John? Robin Hood. Rob well, now they'll know. <laughs> now they'll know. Yeah. But, no, but here's the thing. It was kind of an interesting glimpse into Stoic and his son's interaction. He's like, Hiccup's like, Dad, what are you doing? Welcome to my world. 
which is now your world. Yes. <laughs> Though, yeah, I get the chief does have to deal with stupid things. <laughs> Quite a bit. And this is a great lead up to what's Hiccup role in movie two. Mm-hmm. Which I don't think they're going to... I don't think there will be... They'll expand on yet. At least until a third movie comes no, out. But, it'll, because that's just him tr- t- taking up the reins. Mm-hmm. No, this is more or less a uh, prepare yourself. Yeah. So, yeah, you can kind of tell. We don't like this episode very very much. Not as, we don't hate it as much as Big Man on Burke. Because there were some, there were actually some good comedy elements on it. Like, the twins decide to every eliminate, time. they el- they eliminate the S from the alphabet. Fuck. And everyone has to try to speak without the S. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. So, I the funniest joke you get is when... Hiccup is trying to tell Toothless to shoot a plasma blast. It's like, Toothless, a Toothless, plasma blast! <laughs> <laughs> That's it. But even though they don't, even they don't enforce their own rules, because I definitely heard an S, and they did say things that definitely have an S in there, but it is kind of funny to see how, just, at least how committed they are. Like, well, oh, sorry. Like, islands, object. How dare you a such thing? It's entertaining to see him try to go through with it, <laughs> but you know, no. What's, what's Hiccup's plan in this? What is his plan to get back order? Let them rule, because then they'll just see how tough it is. What? Don't ever do that again. That's scary. Let them rule. Yes. You let them get power in their heads? <laughs> well, well, can I don't think there would be much room in there since most of their heads is filled with rocks <laughs> or air. No, that would impl- that would imply there's actually room to grow. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, which is kind of it, it's kind of nice. I mean, it's not very effective, really, but. You gotta find you gotta find some way to fill up twenty two minutes, and that twenty two minutes was pretty dull. It was dull. There were some good moments, but overall, the episode was just very lackluster. And, yeah, and even when the fireworm when the fireworms do come to the island, and the twins are just like scrambling all all over trying to think what to do, what to do, what to do. We gotta go. We gotta get the guys. Oh man, we shouldn't have put them in the dungeon. No, yeah, actually, this whole thing could have been resolved. No, way early. Mm hmm. You know what? We wanna know how? How? Get Meatlog to eat the damn stone! <laughs> <sighs> so. No, if Stoic didn't go over there and you no, know, take a look at it, they have no proof. Mm hmm. You have no proof that there's a claim store ever was there. Like, it's, just, it's your word against theirs. I believe my son. <laughs> so, fuck, this but, thing could have been avoided. I know. So, yeah, just... We don't really have much to say about it. It's just... Bad. Not... I don't want to say bad. Because there in are some opinion, good moments. In okay. my opinion, it's bad. It's just a waste of time. There we go. It's a waste of time. No, if you got something nothing better to do, it's fine. Then watch it. But yeah. if, you, if you want to go through the series, skip it. <laughs> Just really skip it. And skip Big Man on Burke as well. Yes. Good God. Well, hopefully the next episode is better. I uh, mean, and from what I see on Netflix, is we get to see Skull, Skull Crusher. Crusher. Skull Crusher. So hopefully, Stoic gets his dragon back. Mm-hmm. Although I wouldn't wouldn't mind to see Thornado and the triplets again. I wouldn't mind either. Oh man, those babies are cute, <laughs> cute, cuddly. <laughs> I want to hug them now. I know. Baby animals are just so cute. I know. But we're getting off topic. So yeah, this is a lackluster episode. Doesn't further anything. Doesn't reveal any new dragons, or we don't see any new lands. Just has it introduces a new idea that isn't around for very long. Yeah. So I got nothing left. I got nothing either. Well, this is I, I think this is a record for shortest vlog. Yes. We'll see you next time on Dragon Ball Z.
guy. No, no. Race to the Edge. They changed that name again? Yes. Oh, for fuck's sake, how many times? Did we already make this joke? Yes, but we gotta keep this running gag for so long. Yeah, I think it might be time to end the running gag. Oh, fine, fine. We'll see you next time on How to Train Your Dragon 3. Really? Really? <laughs>